Good day! My name is Aiden W. Miller, and I'm going to show you how to tie a, um, a splat, a thingy, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, just a winter steel head fly with some dumbbell eyes and lead wraps and a lot of mobile materials on it. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. I have just a, um, you can use pretty well any hook you want here, uh, because I'm just gonna, this is gonna be a stinger fly, so I'm gonna cut it off. You can use a Waddington shank if you want, whatever, whatever your preference is. Um, first of all, I'm gonna take some 20 pound fire line, cut about, ooh, nine inches or so or six inches or however long you want this loop to be and I'm gonna make the loop I'm actually gonna make it uh, from the very end of the eye here like the very end of the hook at this end to uh, in line with the point of the hook back there so that's approximately Oh, an inch and a quarter, something like that. Start my thread. Uh, really, you can use anything here. I'm using some orange UTC 140. And, uh, thank God Courtney's going to grab that. And I'm just going to go back to the point. tie that in and then uh, wrap it all the way up and if you're feeling paranoid you can put it through the eye and then wrap it back usually well, yeah it doesn't hurt usually I don't put glue on my flies or uh, in this at this stage so put it through the eye or just fold it back or do whatever you want gonna do that okay so now I'm gonna tie in my dumbbell eyes I'm using some um, brass hourglass eyes You can use lead dumbbells, whatever you like. Depends on how far you want to get down. And I usually do put glue on my eyes. Touch that with a little bit of Zappa Gap. Make some more wraps over. Because it's really annoying when those roll around on you. Ooh, close that door. There we go. So, now I'm going to take some pink arctic fox, or any kind of fox you want, really. Just, um, a little bunch, about like that. That's going to be our main tail piece I want to make that about two and a half inches long it's just going to be a fairly large fly There we go. I'm going to tie those ends down the rest of the shank. And then next, I'm actually going to take some, um, some O35 lead. Just, uh, yeah, some thick lead wire. Or whatever 
other measure you'd like to do to add weight. Basically, I'm. This is a fly that I'm tying for winter run steelhead that really don't want to uh, move too far for a fly. So what we have to do is we have to go down to them. So now I'm going to take some UV pearl. Polar chenille, tie it in right at the back. And then I'm just going to rifle that up. Don't worry about, um, don't worry about stroking each wrap back. I'll show you what we're going to do in a second here. And this is going to be basically all the flash we're, we'll need for the fly. Like I say, I mean, I really, I really should be putting the, the pretty flies that I tie on YouTube, but... And these are the ones I catch fish with. So those ones, those are the ones I'm putting on YouTube. Uh, now, a couple things you can do. You can put some marabou uh, wrapped around here, all flowing back, or you can um, you could put another clump of fox. Or you could dubbing loop some fox, or you could, yeah, you could do a whack load of stuff. I think I'll, I think I'll dubbing loop some fox. So I'll make a dubbing loop about. You don't need more than five inches. Grab my spinning tool. And then I'm going to grab um, however much you used for the tail. Probably want to use a little bit more. So, say however much you used for the tail plus, plus another 50% or so. 50 to 25%. I'm going to do that, stick it in so that all the nice ends are facing in one direction, and then I'm going to trim the cut ends down to about an eighth of an inch away from the thread, and then I'll pat it down so that it's only Ooh, geez. Three millimeters. And then I'll hold it right at the bottom down here. Right there. And then I'll uh, spin, 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 and then let it go. And I do that just so that it all spins at one time. You know, I don't really give the hair much chance to... Uh, fall out of the loop because that is a big pain when it falls out of the loop. Brush that with the velcro. And then start wrapping that and then 
pulling it back with each wrap. Okay, done wrapping, cut off the loop, and then I'm going to take a pin, just pick this out a little bit. And then you're pretty well, you're pretty well done. Let's go to the front. Throw a whip finish on there. A little bit of head cement. And then if you want to, uh, if you want to know what you do after this point, I have other videos which uh, I've gone through the whole process of just cutting off this, and then how to uh, just real easy loop to loop connection to uh, loop uh, the eye of your stinger hook onto that um, braid. Nice and simple, two materials, you can make it real fancy, you end up with a nice profile in the water, plenty of movement, very durable, very heavy, it's going to sink real fast, not a lot of bulk, going to shed water, really nice, and uh, yeah, that's the fly. So again, my name is Aiden Darby Miller, here at the Knockery Fly Shop. You can find us online at Uh We also have a Facebook page uh, where we're always updating that. Uh, so we're going to have pictures and more tying videos and all sorts of stuff. Just what's going on uh, currently. We have a big sale on before Christmas. Throw everything, Vision, Snowby, and um, Mystic is 35% off. So come on down. Lots of savings, and I will see you later.